This is a Rotke Mods video. Hello, I'm Greg Rotke of Rotke Mods, and guys, I am excited to tell you that someone has finally come up with a way to make your Mac drives show back up in the anniversary update of Windows 10. Now I will be showing you how to do this and it involves doing a registry edit. Also, if you already have Boot Camp 6.1 installed, you may have problems. I would not recommend upgrading to Boot Camp 6.1 and instead using Boot Camp 6, which you'll be able to find a link to in the description. Boot Camp 6 is apparently the very last boot camp to have the HFS drivers included. Apple has officially stated that they have stopped developing the drivers and Boot Camp 6.1 does not have them included. So, this is a bit of a problem. So, stick with Boot Camp 6. It works totally fine in the anniversary update. Also, with 32-bit CPU Max or anyone running 32-bit Windows, Boot Camp 4's drivers still work just as fine as Boot Camp 6's. This video will show you how to edit the registry to make your drives reappear. The anniversary update has broken the mounting option, but the drivers actually still work. We just have to force it to work. So, let's begin by first letting me show you where this came from. So, here we go. On January 12th, Adraxus, on this Apple support page right here, finally figured out how to do this. So all credit goes to him. I am just going to be showing you how to do this in the video. Thank you Adraxus for coming up with this idea, and it works great. We will be doing option two. Option one is much easier to do, but involves you installing some glitchy software that I just wouldn't recommend doing. Although it is much easier, and I have tried it, and I can agree it is easier. But we're not going to do it for stability reasons. So we'll be doing option two, and I will be walking you through how to do it. Right now, as you can see, we are running the anniversary update. None of the Mac drives are being shown, and in the disk management section, none of the Mac drives are showing up. There's just blank sections. So we're going to fix that right now. First off, you will want to go to File Explorer, right click on this PC, and click Manage. Once that pops up, you will want to go to Disk Management. Once this all pops up, we will want to be looking for our Mac drives. I have many on my Mac Pro, but we'll just be mounting one right now to show proof of concept. So this is a Mac drive right here. If we click on it, it will highlight which drive it is, which is this one right here. To find out which volume number you need, just count down. One, two. So we'll want to mount volume two. So keep this in mind. And if I wanted to mount another Mac drive like this one, we click on it, and this one shows up here. So we got one, two, three, four, four, and five, and we will want to mount that one. But right now, we will be mounting this drive right here, which happens to be my main El Capitan drive. So let's get to it. Okay, we will want to open up a run window. The easiest way to open up a run window is to, to press the Windows key plus R. So we'll hit Windows and R. On your Mac keyboard, it will be Command-R. So we'll hit Command-R, and the window will pop up. And we will want to type in RegEdit, and hit Enter. And it will bring up the registry editor. We will now want to go to HKey Local Machine, right here, and go down to System. Then to Current Control Set, and then to Control, and then session manager, and then to DOS devices. From here, we will want to go new, and then string value. Now right here, we'll be adding the drive letter we want to do. In this case, I'm not sure which drive letters I already have assigned, so we'll need to go to File Explorer and look at our drives. As we can see here, I have CD E, F, and G. 
So we'll add H right here. To do this, we will type in H and then colon. And this will address your new drive. Then we'll go and click Modify and type in this. You want to type this and then add the volume number you wanted. For instance, I will be adding volume 2, and your drive may be different. We type in the number and click OK. And now we have this right here. We will now want to close out the RadEdit and restart our Mac. OK, now with the Mac rebooted, we can verify that our drive has been mounted properly. We can open up File Explorer, and as we can see right here, here's my El Capitan drive. We can click on it, and everything works. All the folders show up. And if we right-click and go to Properties, we can see it's an HFS drive. Now, if we go to Back to Disk Management, it will still not show up as being mounted which is the only real drawback here. This is the drive that is mounted right here. So if you have multiple Mac formatted drives, you will have to keep track of which ones you already have mounted. So if I mount drive volume 5, I'll have to keep track that I already have two mounted. And we'll have to go through each and every one, manually adding them into the registry until everything is added back, which I'll quickly show you the end result of all my drives being remounted, and they will wrap up the video. I now have all my drives in the registry. I will reboot and show you the re end result. Okay, I have now figured out that it's not as easy as just counting the volumes. It will help you probably mount your main drive, your main Mac drive, but otherwise you may end up mounting the wrong drives. This is okay. The thing is you'll have to figure out which volumes are what and count them out. Right now I have noticed that I have mounted my Windows drive twice now. This won't hurt anything and you can fix it easily. This is because the drive that I thought was volume number five is linked to this drive here as a second partition. So now I need to find this drive. This will take me a while because I have multiple Mac drives I want to mount. And also you can notice that I also ended up mounting a recovery drive. So this will take me a while. And we have success. It took me a while to figure out which volumes it is. Basically you need to count all the volumes you have and test every single one until you figure out which ones it is. Keep track of which volumes you have already tried and just keep going until you figure it out. Now as you can see here, everything works. I have all the drives, all the HFS drives, all on the anniversary update. And to show you that it also works on the 32-bit installs of Windows 10, here is my Mac Mini running 32-bit Windows, as you can see right here. This, of course, has the hacked Boot Camp 4 driver on it, and everything's working. So anyway, just keep trying volumes until you get it. You may have to restart your Mac many times, but eventually you'll get all your drives up. Usually your main drive, your main OS X slash Mac OS drive, is the second volume but it may be a different volume, so keep trying. And all your other drives, of course, will be within the number of volumes you have. I have 13 volumes on my Mac, according to disk management. So I had to keep guessing until I figured out that the main drive is volume 2, my Mac data drive is volume 12, my Lion drive is volume 9, and my one terabyte drive is volume six. So anyway, that is in this video showing you how you can now enable your drives in the anniversary update. So you can now update 
It is a bit of a pain to do, but it's well worth it. Anyway, thank you for watching. This has been a Rutke Mods video.